Hello, this is Dr. David Green, Education Director at Premier Pain Specialists in Chicago. Today's topic is the indications for spinal discectomy surgery for sciatica. Sciatica occurs in 1-2% to of the population at any, any given point in time. Most people have no clue what they did as an inciting event. I mean, it could be something as simple as getting out of bed in the morning. The typical cause is slow disc degeneration that finally results in a tear with the inner part squeezing out. I mean, it could be a sneeze, it could be a slight picking something up, you know, less than two pounds off a table. For the symptoms, you typically results in a pinched or irritated nerve root that gets inflamed and may cause significant leg pain, burning, pins and needles, numbness, possibly some weakness, and rarely incontinence. So the initial treatment should consist of short period of bed rest, over-the-counter medications such as anti-inflammatories and Tylenol, PT, chiropractic, spinal decompression therapy can help. Prescription medications may include a medrol dose pack, narcotics, muscle relaxers, possibly neuropathic medications such as Neurontin and Lyrica. And then there's interventional treatments, the gold standard of which is epidural injections, but trigger point injections can also be beneficial. So what are the indications for sciatica surgery? There are three classifications of indications. The first is absolute. Got to have it, no ifs, ands, or buts. The second is relative, meaning it should heavily be considered, but it's not absolutely necessary to have it right away. And then quality of life, meaning it's elective, basically, um, and we'll talk about that. When it comes to the absolute indications for surgery, cauda equina syndrome uh, means basically you just have to have it. There's a significant compression on the remnant of the spinal cord, uh, which occurs anywhere between T12, L1, L2, somewhere around there. And effectively, what you can get is a large compression, um, which compresses this area anywhere down in here. See how big of a disc herniation this is? And it can cause irreversible incontinence and difficulty walking. So it really does need to be treated right away. Most experts say 24 hours. Um, and otherwise it could become irreversible. So when you start looking at the relative indications for sciatica surgery, if you start to have motor weakness, such as if you're pushing on the L5 nerve root and it's causing the foot to drop, not able to effectively lift it up properly, then that's something that should be considered. You can watch that for a while. If it's getting worse, such as a progressive neurologic deficit, then heavier um, indication for surgery exists. But if it's the same, then you can watch it for a few weeks to even a few months to see if it gets better. You don't want to watch it for too long because if you do watch it for too long and it's variable in separate individuals, but it may be to where it never gets better even with a great surgery being performed. Now elective indications, if you've tried conservative treatment for over six weeks, then it may be indicated if, if none of these work, medications, PT, chiro, spinal decompression therapy, or injections, it's just not getting better, then surgery could be indicated um, for that. Now, studies have shown, this landmark study in Journal of the American Medical Association, for, if you're just having pain, then the identical outcomes are seen at one year, meaning that if you have surgery versus you don't have surgery, the outcome is going to be the same, but surgery did help increase mobility and decrease pain faster. Overall, less than 10% will need surgery for sciatica, with over 90% good to excellent results if you do end up having to have a procedure. The top non-operative pain management in the greater Chicago area is with Premier Pain Specialists. There are several clinics throughout the metropolitan area, accepting over 50 insurances and providing over 25 treatment options. Over 90% success rates are seen with the board-certified, award-winning, fellowship-trained pain management doctors. Visit us online today at ppschicago.com and then call us for more information and scheduling at 847-519-4701. I'm Dr. David Green with Premier Pain Specialists in Chicago. Thank you very much for watching.